Now that I have saved some money to build my dream home, I'm really confused about which estate company to approach. My friend had a bad experience with a particular estate agency after completing his payment and could not even get his title deed. This is serious. Thank you. My name is Oli. I'm from I'm a investor. I'm a set. Thank you. You know, I must say you came at a very right time. Really? I was thinking about houses. Great. What can your company offer me? EJ Investments can offer you a lot. We're unique in the market. Okay. We own our properties mm -hmm. and we ensure that they're developed with modern technologies. They're affordable and they're strategic locations. We don't just sell pieces of land, but we create settlements. What makes your company different from others? We're different from all real estate companies in the Gambia because what we have to offer is affordability, safety, and security. We ensure that you get a legal contract from when you pay your deposit. And within four weeks of paying your final settlement, we make sure you receive your title date. Four weeks? Four weeks. That's interesting. Yes. Now tell me, what real estate service you need? It's absolutely EJ Investment and Real Estate Agency. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Emmanuel Ju, for this opportunity. Um, your commission has started um, investigating the Faraba incident about a month ago. Um, and now the commission is done with the report is presented to the Office of the President uh, for action. Uh, could you tell us uh, something about the content of your report? What, what uh, well, um, as you know, um, you rightly said, we, we have been mandated by the, His Excellency uh, to come up with some findings. And um, as to what led to the standoff in Farabarabanta, which led to the deaths of three civilians and injuries to many, also uh, destruction of properties, but also uh, the, His Excellency want us, wanted us to investigate to find out who may have ordered the shootings and who actually shot the victims, and uh, also to come up with recommendation, key recommendations, so that such things will not happen in, in Farababanta again, but also other parts of the country, but also to recommend ways of uh, improving crowd police crowd control. Uh, these are the things that we were supposed to do as a commission, and which we did. It was a very hectic um, um, uh, um, commission in, in, the, in the sense that we had to deliver within the shortest possible time, uh, which we did. Um, uh, unfortunately, I cannot go deeply into, uh, into the content of the report, because as you know, uh, the president will have to publish it. Uh, I, I would tell you, however, that we were able to, um, uh, to talk to 85 witnesses from the PIU officers involved in that day, on that day, the people of Faraba Banta, uh, the geology department, the NEA, uh, lands office, uh, and all these, and all those who were part of the process uh, of issuing license to Julake, and also we did interview Julake. We interviewed the pathologist who carried out the postmortem. We looked at medical records. We also looked at the coroner's report. So all this informed, and we also talked to experts who, who were not direct witnesses to the incident, but had knowledge which would help us inform our report. And we have done, we have actually come up with the findings as to what led to the standoff. And we have also provided His Excellency with recommendations based on the testimonies of witnesses and our site's visit to Sanyang, Bunjur and also Faraba Banta. Where are you? Could you probably say, if that's possible, if there had been confirmed cases of culpability? In, in what I will tell you that uh, in our findings, yes, we did recommend that some people were culpable. That was there, uh, and I think that's, 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 that's all I can tell you. There were people who were culpable. Uh, many sh shootings. Uh, there were those who destroyed properties, who were identified in the reports. And I'm sure, uh, I know journalists, you want things to be done quick there and then, but I'm sure if you bear with His Excellency, very soon you will have the full text of the report and the name individuals uh, in this report. Yes, we tried to make it as comprehensive as possible. Uh, what, that is what we, what we discovered. And was what, there any recommendations of prosecution? There, there were recommendations. There were recommendations. There were recommendations. There were recommendations. And you will find it in the report. There were recommendations, yes. 
Yes. So uh, did, it, did it touch on all the key individuals, including the licensing process? Uh, yes, we, 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 looked at, we looked at all of it. That's what I told you. We looked at 85. We spoke to and listened to the testimonies of 85 witnesses, uh, the geological department and their staff, because as you know, they issue license for mining. We also talked to the National Environmental Agency and their staff. So um, uh, we looked at every institution uh, that was part of the process of issuing of license. We also talked to all those who, were, uh, who uh, knew about it and could inform the commission members. So yes. We the minister called it a breakdown in the functions of institutions that are supposed to government institutions in themselves. Do you think, did you, was there any such thing in your, yes, in your as document as in... As you know, what the minister gave was, he gave a quick rundown of what he read in the report. And as you, as you said, he, he himself said that, uh, yes, uh, there was uh, poor coordination sometimes, some gaps. Um, and, and we hope that um, going through the report that those things will be filled out uh, so that we'll not have a recurrence of this. But yes, we did find lack of proper coordination, gaps. Uh, the, in, 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 in the licensing process and other things. But it was highlighted and I'm sure you'll get a proper, uh, uh, you'll get the full report. In finally, finally, um, we know that the president has promised to implement this to the letter. Uh, what do you think your recommendations and your findings will change if they're effectively implemented? Yes, uh, as, as I said, our job was to come up with w w the findings, what led to the standoff. Uh, and also that, that actually informed our recommendations. Hopefully if he looks at the, recommend, the, the gaps we've mentioned that there are certain things that we need to revise. There are certain things that we need to revisit in the whole process. You know, uh, security sector reform, uh, the licensing process, consultation with stakeholders in this process. So um, uh, if those things are implemented, I really think that we can, we can avert, we can stop another Farababanta from happening in this country. Yes, but be patient. Very soon, as the Minister of Justice said, he's going to prepare a white paper uh, and the President. This will come out very soon. I really have confidence that all of you will have your chance to look at it, critique it, uh, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but we thank you for following the Parababanta Commission and we have concluded. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much.